Well, this much stubble means one thing. It's the James Bond Shave Part 3, and this time we are doing the electric shave. So, of course, what we've got to do is we've got to use the Pierce Brosnan electric shaver from Die Another Day. Now, this particular one that we're using today is the Spectra 8894XL. Why am I being so specific about that? Well, there was a lot of different ones around Die Another Day that came out. Um, being the anal collector that I am, I, uh, it sounded terrible, um, I actually made sure I got the right one. And this is the right one. This is the one he uses in the shot after he has that huge beard and then suddenly shaves. By the way, let's, let's take a look at that for a second. Let's take a look at a picture of him with the beard. And now without the beard. Yeah, I'm, I'm crying bullshit here. I mean, that beard, you'd have to have two machetes and fire to get rid of. There's no way, however good this electric shaver is, that it can get rid of a beard like that. But listen, it's James Bond. We've got to suspend our, our disbelief. So let's talk about electric shaving real quick. I mean, the whole idea is think about when you were a child and you were watching commercials and the Norelco or Panasonic or, you know, in this particular case, uh, Gillette and Phillips would come on and it would say that it would take the hair and lift it up. It would actually twirl or bring over a cage and lift the hair up, cut, cut the actual hair. So the whole theory behind electric shavers is it actually gets closer than a blade. There's also a lot of other reasons to use an electric shaver, allegedly. And I'm, I'm putting allegedly out there because we're going to put this to the test. The other reason is if you have sensitive skin. If you think about it, every time you shave, you're actually removing a part of your epidermis and it causes a scar. That's what healing does. It actually causes a scar every time that you do that. So it supposedly is very good to slough off the skin and remove it, but it is causing scar tissue every single time you do that. If you have sensitive skin and you shave too much, you can get redness, sensitivity, allegedly, there it is again, with electric shavers, you won't get that sensitivity. Here's another asterisk I want to put out there. If you're used to a blade, the first time you buy one of these and use it, you will not have a good shave. In fact, tonight, after years of using a blade, I'm not probably going to get a good shave. You need to actually let two to three weeks of shaving go by, and then supposedly you will have a really good shave. It'll lift the hair up, it'll cleanly do it, even around the neck and the really wiry areas, it supposedly is better. By the way, why am, I, um, why am I dressed like this if I'm ready to shave? Well, first of all, obviously with an electric shave, it's dry. Um, there's different products out there like ElectraShave, which is this alcohol-based stuff to make your beard stand up. Don't do that. And despite what you've heard about electric shaving, that you want a really dry beard, it's actually still better to do it after a hot shower. And that's why my hair is like this. I just took a hot shower, but I'm dressed like Pierce Brosnan. Think about it. And die another day. He actually shaved fully clothed in a nice Brioni shirt. So um, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to try the electric shave. I've, I've uh, after many, many years since Die Another Day, I've charged this thing up and we're going to give it a go. Now the whole thing with an electric shaver, it's a vibration of these tiny mini blades that go around and around underneath. So what it does is it actually will remove the hair. We're going to give it a try. We're going to start with the sides. And what you want to do is Stay away from your sideburns, because this is not exact. But you want to give it a circular motion, and supposedly you don't have to go over too many times, but I'm going to go over it here, make sure you go up there with the little hairs. Okay, here we go. Not bad, actually. Really not bad at all. Um, you know, is it uh, blade close? No, I, it would take two to three weeks to do that, but we're going to try the rest of the face with this. The one thing too with, with an electric shaver, I said stay away from the sideburns, it has this little pop-up. See that? That's to get right under the nose, the places where these giant things can't do, and also the sideburns as well, but we'll save that for last. So let's go back to it, shall we? So the nice thing about electric shaves is a lot of people will tend to use these for little touch-ups. 
Now, if you're a Fred Flintstone like I am, or Homer Simpson, when you get 5 o'clock shadow at 5 in the morning, um, this is a really nice touch-up at the end of the day if you're going out with your Bond girl, Bond wife, friends. Um, an electric shaver is a nice way to touch up. Mm, handling the chin pretty good. And now I'm going to hit the old stash. And again, it's not going to get really close underneath. But what it does do is it gets the corners of my mouth. I don't know about you, but the corners of my mouth get very sensitive with the blade. They tend to cut because the lip area is very, it's very sensitive. The, uh, the electric shave, though, doesn't. I mean, it's nice like that. Now we're going to try the neck. This is going to be interesting with the white shirt, but if Pierce did it, I'm going to try it too. Here we go. So with the neck, I'm going to start in, again, circular motion. And by the way, I'm doing a circular motion, but I'm continually going down. Now, I love you, Pierce, but I'm going to have to move my collar over a little bit. Now, this is the real test of an electric shaver. Um, the realities are that some electric shavers, listen, they're not all equal. This particular one, even after all these years, I don't think it's been bested. If you can find the same exact model on eBay, don't just get it for collecting purposes. Get it because it's the best shaver they've ever had. Hear that, Norelco? I will not be getting new sponsorship. I'm pretty sure Norelco has their sponsors. Roger Federer, who knows? All right. Um... Mm, neckline, mm, average. Now, I didn't spend a lot of time on it, and I probably could go over it again, but I would say the neckline was adequate. I'm going to try this little pop-up thing, though, around the sideburns. Now, again, you just turn it on regularly, and you can almost tell it's giving, like, a, a different sound. I'm not digging that. I'm going to try my luck. Use the little round things, and then use the pop-up to clean up. Not bad. Not bad. You know, I could see, I could almost imagine that given enough time, given the two to three weeks, and maybe I'll, I'll, I'll try this as an experiment. I could see my face getting used to this, my skin getting used to this. As you can see, I've got one side that's not shaved. I may just do it with the old blade. But all in all, I would say the electric did a nice job. Again, um, this particular one is submergible. Um, it has a sensitivity button on it too. So you can go all the way to very wiry beards to sensitive beards. And actually I just noticed something. It was on sensitive, which means it probably wasn't cutting very deep. I'm going to actually set it on to all the way onto normal and see if it does a different job on the other side. Ah, I can hear the difference. It is cutting. Wow, wow, wow. And that's not ow, ow, ow. The nice thing about an electric shaver, you will not cut yourself. Now, the grill ones, the old ones, with the grill, you probably could cut yourself. But uh, not with these newer ones. Of course, they say new, but I know the day was a long time ago. Was it 2002? Yeah, that, wow. That was pretty good. I mean, there's a couple, there's a couple hairs here and there kind of strewn around, but... Um, all in all, the sensitivity one, once I put it all the way to normal, did a nice job. I could see using this. Um, I could see doing this. It's um, fun. I don't have any um, hairs on my white shirt at all. You could be in a suit. You could be in an office. You could be, uh, you know, do a quick touch-up probably within five to six minutes. It's a little faster. You don't get um, the dryness. Now, I would still treat my face. First of all, I would still splash it afterwards just to get any errant hairs over here. And by the way... Um, Everybody says, oh, you just shave, clean it out with the little brush, and then go about your way. Now, there's, there's also a little lubricant that you want to spray to make sure that, uh, you know, you've got ones, you know, the, the, the brushes are not kind of colliding with each other. Um, it's still a piece of machine, but pretty good. So let's, let's finish the job. Getting back to the neck. I tell you, this is about two or three days growth. If I did this every day, we'd probably do the trick. 
And uh, especially in the cold weather, where you have really sensitive skin. You know, there's a, there's a lot of different techniques. People say to stretch the skin. Um, you may want to try that too, stretching, stretching the skin on the neck. I think that's as far as I'm going to go for tonight. All right. Well, there you go. The uh, Norelco Spectra 8894XL, the Pierce Brosnan shave, the Die Another Day shave, although I'm pretty sure they, um, they went over that beard many times, or hey, maybe that beard was fake. It's Hollywood, or Pinewood Studios. Anyway, this has been David Zeritsky for the Bond Experience for the James Bond Shave Part 3. I'll see you at Part 4. I'll talk to you very soon. Take care.